Hi everyone on YouTube. This is Amy from Mesh312 and we are using natural light today. So hopefully you get a good picture of Kerrigan and her little rosy cheeks. And I love her in this crocheted bonnet that I made. Um, this yarn up here is so soft. It was kind of fun to crochet with. But anyway, she looks good and happy even though she's got fabulous hair. So I am... Um, just wanted to show you this outfit. I did take some pictures and put them on my slideshow. But look at the details on this little pajama. It's got little bows and polka dots and flowers. And it says lovable, which of course she is. Anyway, I love the little Mary Jane. So, I am going to talk today about some excitement. Look what I made! I am so proud of myself. And it's not proud in a bad way. It's proud as in, I never thought I could make these. So this is boosting my morale that I actually made these. I started them yesterday and finished them this morning. Aren't they so cute? So I'm going to try those on her. And I'm going to put these little frilly socks underneath. And I haven't tried them on yet, so I'm hoping they fit. So if they don't, we'll all see that on the video. And I'm going to put this little one piece on her. It's got little cherries. And then these pants with the tutu on them. So I'm going to sit you over here and put you some skin for the day. See my arm. And I'll try to keep my arm out of the business here. Of course we got Banjo. Boop, 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 boop. So anyway, maybe I'll put him up here. Put the booties down here. And I'll probably just leave her hat on since, and I'll do her hair later. But I've been keeping the onesie on underneath and it's so cold here that she needs it. I even kept her little white socks on. Did I care again? Yeah. And I already changed her just a little bit ago when I got her out of bed. So we're just going to change you, aren't we? And we've had our first bottle. And she's tired out, so she's just resting a little bit. So I'm so excited. Me and my husband are going away this weekend for his birthday. And we're not big partiers or um, we're not real involved with big groups. We're both kind of shy and not shy, but kind of keep to ourselves. Um, you know, just have select friends and stuff. But anyway, um, his birthday was yesterday on the 20th. And it was so cute because Lena, our youngest daughter, the five-year-old that's on my videos, she had her class say happy birthday to her dad, <laughs> and she kept asking how old he was, and he was 51. We're kind of older parents, because we adopted them through foster care, and um, we do have two teenagers that were bio kids, Trent, our Ian and Katie, they're my oldest ones, but Trent and Lena are younger, they're six and five, so anyway, she wanted to know how old daddy was, and he's 51. And so I'm sure the teachers were like, whoa, you know, but that's okay. I was teasing him last night and said, you know, some of those parents of JK kids are probably half your age. <laughs> he just laughed. I had to tease him a little bit. But anyway, we're going away for his weekend, or a weekend, and since we're not big gamblers or drinkers or anything, most of the time, and it sounds funny, you might think we're lame, but that's okay. We just get a motel room, or um, we've gone to a bed and breakfast, which I really enjoyed. But this time we're going to be cheap and go to a motel with no pool or anything. <laughs> and um, we're just going to relax. And our household's kind of crazy because our little ones have behavior problems because of their start in life. And so quiet is very important for us. <laughs> so... Um, we're just going to go and we'll go to our favorite restaurant, which is Olive Garden. And I love their chicken gnocchi soup. It's my favorite. And so we'll have soup. And my husband loves the salad. He eats two bowls of the salad by himself. <laughs> oh, he's funny. But we'll probably go there more than once because we're kind of silly that way. And he even told me already, um, he goes, well, you can go shopping and I'll just stay in the room and watch movies on the, you know, cable or whatever, or on the satellite, whatever they have, because he just wants some downtime, which I don't blame him, because I do too. 
So I'm not sure if I'm going to take Kerrigan to the stores with me because I'm kind of shy. And I just, I had a reaction video, you guys have probably seen it when I met um, Sarah, but I really was uncomfortable. I don't, and you know, we all have our own options and our own, you know, preferences and stuff with babies. And so, whoops, Banjo, what are you doing, jumping them off? <laughs> there, he's back. Anyway, we all have our preferences on our babies. And so, the reason I would take her out was to just kind of have fun and I may, you know, hide her in the um, car seat and more just to, I don't know, role play having a baby again. I know that sounds funny. But um, I don't really like the attention from people reactions and stuff. I don't know why. I just don't. So I may not take her out, but I'm going to spend a lot of time in the motel room with her bonding and I'm taking, oh my gosh, they're precious. Um, taking all the clothes I haven't put on her yet, and I'm going to take some yarn and maybe work on some more booties. But um, I know everybody will love these. But when I crochet also, I'm on sidetracks today. I get sidetracked easy. But um, my arms hurt a lot when I crochet, so i got to take it easy. I do have rheumatoid arthritis, just diagnosed with it um, a couple months ago, but um, it makes my arms sore, but it's probably good for me to have the exercise and the movement. So I just have to go slow, but I may make some more. Um, anyway, so I plan on going shopping, but not spending a whole lot of money since I just paid off Kerrigan, and money's kind of tight with four kids. But plus, my hubby, he wants a new saw for his woodworking stuff. So that's going to come first. And then if there's any extra, I can go buy some clearance stuff. But later I will show you what I'm packing for her. And I've been making a list of, wish list of things that I want. And so I will share that with you. And just for fun. There's things like I need a comb and brush set. I have one, but um, I picked it up at a garage sale or somewhere. And I want one with a character on it or something. So anyway, I'm just going to show you her booty real quick. And thank you for listening to me babble. And I'm all excited about our trip. And you'll probably see lots of videos. But look how her booties fit. Oh, I'm so proud. <laughs> but they turned out my first pair. So um, the pattern did have, like, you can add little bows or something. So, you know, I may do that. But it's kind of nice to have a pair that are universal and will match everything. So she wore purple. Um, it doesn't have a pink bow. You know, so I may leave this pair just plain. So, or adding lace would be kind of cute too, but her lacy socks look good. Well, I better end this video because it takes a long time to upload. Anyway, bye, Banjo. Say bye. <laughs> and tell him, tell everybody you want to see more Banjo videos from Silicone Baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, oh, don't wake her up, Banjo. She's resting. So anyway, I'm going to pet Banjo a little bit. <laughs> so anyway, watch for more videos on my packing for my trip and videos when I'm there. We'll see what I do. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.